Now let's see what kind of elasticity demand has in relation to income for different goods. So if the elasticity of income is less than zero, we can conclude that the goods being considered are inferior goods. Now why would the elasticity of demand for inferior goods be less than zero? Because we have learned this in Dippin's paradox. In Dippin's paradox, we learned that as the income of a person rises, the consumption of inferior goods gets reducing. He reduces the consumption of inferior goods as his income goes on rising. So what happens is there is an indirect relation between income and demand of inferior goods which leads to an answer which is less than which is negative which is negative thus it is less than zero. What would be the case if the elasticity of demand equals to zero? This is generally the case for necessities or the necessary goods because a change in income is immaterial, it does not have any impact on the consumption of necessities. We do not tend to increase the consumption of necessities with an increase in income. At the same time, we do not tend to decrease the consumption of necessities with a decrease in income. So the elasticity equals to zero because there is no change in demand of necessities. What will be the case if the elasticity of demand is 1 or less than 1? That means when the income of the person is rising, the demand for goods also rises. May not be proportional, but it is not the case that the demand is not rising. Demand rises either proportionately, that is it is equal to 1 or the demand rises but not proportionately that is it is less than 1. In either case the goods that are being considered are normal goods. Normal goods like vegetables, like fruits, like butter, like clothes. In such cases we generally tend to respond to a change in income. As our income rises we tend to increase the consumption of Close. We tend to respond to an increase in income. With an increase in income, we tend to consume more units of such goods. For example, soap, for example, clothes. And finally, when the income elasticity of demand is greater than 1, we can assume that the goods being considered are luxury items, luxury goods. Why? Because We've learned that as our income rises, we have a tendency to show off. We tend to show off our wealth, our prosperity. So as our income rises, we tend to buy more and more of luxurious goods. So what happens is, the elasticity of demand in relation to income of luxurious goods is always more than one.